PC Perspective's coverage of CES 2016 is brought to you by Logitech. See the latest gaming peripherals at gaming.logitech.com. Hey guys, welcome to PC Perspective. We are here at the MSI booth at CES 2016. We're going to walk through a few new motherboards that they're showing off uh, here at the show. First up, we have the Z170A Gaming Pro Carbon. And this is uh, you know, it's part of the A-Series, so it's a little bit uh, lesser feature set, a little bit lower cost. Uh, but you can see they've added some of these carbon accents to it, kind of carbon fiber-ish look to things. It's still a Skylake Z170A motherboard. It does have one uh, full-speed M.2 slot up to 32 gigabits per second. Right up here, uh, you have two USB 3.1 ports on there. One of them is Type-C, one of them is Type-A, so that's pretty impressive. Um, you can see they've got their kind of reinforcement for the PCI Express slots here. Uh, you've got yeah, kind of your basic allotment of SATA connections, one SATA Express, front USB 3.1, or front USB 3.0, I guess just to say. The newest addition up here is really right here. These like traces actually are light up and they're RGB controllable. Uh, and they're, they don't have this powered up, obviously, but it looks really, really neat uh, inside a case with other accents that you might have from uh, a motherboard or a graphics cards or things like that. Uh, if we move away from that, we'll move past a couple of these here. And we'll go to this one that is very, very unique looking. Uh, this is a B150M Gaming 3X. Now, the 3X indicates is actually just, hey, this is MSI's 30th year, which is kind of neat. But this is a B150 motherboard, uh, which is basically a low-cost alternative to Z170A. So if you're putting a low-cost system or you're trying to get a budget gaming rig, this is a system that will be able to take any Skylake processor and then, obviously, one discrete GPU as well. Um, the coloring here is actually really interesting. And depending on the lighting, it will look very different. But it's, it's gold. It has a unique texture to it. They didn't have a whole lot of details for us on how the PCB is actually constructed. Um, but, you know, the, the red accents are probably not my favorite, but they said in a lot of regions that's a, a very popular color combination, the gold with the red. Um, but I, I, I'm a big fan of the way this looks, really, and I would love to see it applied to other motherboards. This is kind of a lower feature set product. You don't have USB 3.1 on it. Uh, you've got VGI and DVI. Uh, on board, but it is going to be uh, for the low-cost crowd. For the not low-cost crowd, we move over to this beast, the X99A Godlike Gaming Carbon. They've already had a Godlike product. Uh, this one adds the kind of gaming carbon uh, ID to it, so you can see some of the carbon fiber accents here. Uh, they've integrated RGB controllable LED lighting underneath uh, a lot of different areas, like underneath these heat sinks, underneath this, underneath the shroud here. Uh, again, they don't have it lit up, but uh, we'll see if we can find some B-roll of that up and running. This one has, again, one full-size Turbo M.2 or full speed M.2, 32 gigabit per second M.2 slot, uh, two USB 3.1 Gen 2, so full speed there, one Type A, one Type C, up to four way NVIDIA SLI and AMD Crossfire support. And you can see they've got these reinforced PCI Express slots. And they've actually just started adding reinforced DIMM slots as well for people who have really heavy uh, heat sinks on there or even uh, fans and coolers and that type of stuff. And then one other really neat feature on this side is the inclusion of a headphone out port. Like this is full size, powered by a DAC. Obviously, we don't know anything specific about the quality of it yet, uh, but that's a really good sign that they're willing to put uh, something like that on a motherboard of this nature. This one I think will be available, he said, in February of some uh, at some price. It'll be expensive. This is going to be a high-end board, guys. Uh, but that's a quick preview of what MSI has planned for 2016, early on in 2000, 2016 for motherboards.